What's good, Grind Schoolers? It's your boy, Rob, and we back in the shop today. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see my breath, but it's super cold, man. I think it's like outside, it's like one degree outside. Um, and in the shop, I'll show y'all in a minute, it's like 25 degrees. Um, it was like 35 or whatever, um, but I had to open up the garage so I could shovel the snow and stuff like that. But anyways, man, uh, what I'm going to do is today we are going to start working on this hood. So my goal is to at least get the hood outlined and adjusted on there. And hopefully we can get it all the way done today. Um, I don't think I'll be able to get it done today because it's super duper cold, man. Um, I have the body filler and the uh, fiberglass filler uh, in the house warming up. So before we get to the video, go ahead, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification so you get a notification every single time we drop another video. Um, as you guys can tell from my last video, um, the Impala is home and we are going to start grinding on it, man. Um, pretty much, I'm going to have to work overtime and double time, triple time, whatever. Um, long hours, long nights, whatever it is. Whatever it takes to get these things done, man. Um, I already missed last summer, so I'm not trying to miss this summer. Um, the Elko still has a long ways to go before it gets done. And I just want to prove to myself that, you know what I'm saying, like I can make it. I can make it happen. So we are going to do so much to the car. And I'll make a separate video explaining to you guys what I'm actually going to be doing to the car. Because obviously, plans have kind of changed um, since, you know, the car is has to go back a, a different color. Um, plans have kind of changed and I'll let y'all in on everything that I'm gonna do to the car and I will update y'all. I'll do like a little update video where I explain all that type of stuff. So stay tuned for that, you know what I'm saying? You don't wanna miss that, especially if y'all have been waiting for the Impala. Go ahead and stay tuned to this build because we're gonna be moving on this car. It's a lot of work, it's a tall order like I said, but um, I'm up for the challenge, man. It is what it is, we're just gonna have to bust ass on the car and then that just is what it is um <clears throat> so anyways man let's go ahead and jump into the video what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to be starting to work on the hood because i want to uh get to the point where i'm like uh eliminating all of the space or creating more space especially since the impala is home um and you know, I still have to do work on the El Camino. I want to make it the garage as clean as possible so that I can walk around both cars. I can work on both cars without having to move them. I don't want to have to move them too much because I feel like they're both in good positions for me to be able to do what I got to do to them. Um, it's nothing to move them if I have to move them, but, you know, I just want to keep everything clean so that I can just come out here and work. I don't have to move stuff because that... that to me is a, a motivator killer. You know what I'm saying? When you have to come out here in the cold, for one, you have to overcome the cold. And then for two, you have to try to, um, you have to try to move stuff around, all that kind of stuff. That kind of stuff, man, it, that kind of irritates me. I want to be able to come out here, jump on whatever I have to jump on, without have to move a lot of stuff, without having to fight against, you know, that and the cold. I just want to be able to take care of stuff. So without trying to junk everything up, we are going to, keep everything as clean as possible and that's the reason why i want to start working on this hood because i want to get the old one off of there so i could trash it and i could put the new one on there so it's not just sitting around taking up a lot of real estate because it's a it's a huge hood you know what i'm saying and it takes up a lot of real estate and i don't want it just sitting on the car because if it's just sitting on the car then i can't get to the roof you know what i mean so i can't really sand it down and do whatever i got to do i know that's a lot of explanation but i'll show you what we're about to be doing um, in this video, we are about to go ahead and throw this hood scoop on. I know y'all been waiting for it. I know it's been a long time coming, but we're about to take care of that. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and jump to it. Right now, I don't know if y'all can see, but it's 26 degrees out here. 26 degrees. I'm getting this content for y'all. So I'm probably about to start this heater up um, just so that I can get in my little area. I have my other heater over there going but it's probably just heating up that space over there and making it warm over there. Like I said, I had the garage open, so a lot of that cold air came in here and now we're fighting against that. Um, but as you can see, I put the hood on top of the Impala because it was sitting up next against or up against the El Camino. 
And so, um, obviously, I still have a lot of work to do on the El Camino, and I can't have it sitting up against the El Camino. And, you know, coming out here trying to move that thing around just so I could sand on the El Camino or work on the El Camino is just not, it's not, it's not conducive to what I'm trying to do. So I put it on top of the car and now that it's on top of the car, you know, I can't get to sanding the car. Now I'm obviously not to that point yet, but eventually I will be to that point. So I just want to take care of that so I could put it on the car and trash this hood here. Um, <clears throat> and in a later video, I'll discuss exactly what we're about to do with the Impala, you know what I mean? Because things have changed, plans have changed, my ideas have changed. So, um, yeah, but anyways, man, I'm so glad that she's home. That back wheel looks so chunky on that thing. It seems like the back wheels have settled. Everything is like sitting so tight, so right on there, man. I don't even think I need any bigger wheels than that because these are already rubbed. Um, but I think what I'm gonna do is, well, I know what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna roll the fenders so that we can get a little bit more clearance. And then um, on the back, I'll replace the um, shocks because on the tow truck, you could just see the thing bouncing like crazy back there while it was on the tow truck. So um, I'm not sure how old those shocks are on there, but we're definitely gonna get those knocked out. Anyways, man, let's go ahead and jump to uh, knocking out this hood. I'll update y'all on exactly what we're gonna be doing um, to the uh, Impala. Uh, as we go along, I already got some parts ordered up for it, uh, or got some things, uh, in the, in the works ordered up for it. So, you know, we're going to like, we're not wasting no time. We're not wasting no time is what I'm trying to say. So let's go ahead and jump to it, man. And as you can see, I'm out here grinding in this cold weather. I don't care. We're going to get this thing done. We're going to get that thing over there done. And it's going to be a, a cold, cold, cold summer. A lot of work to do, but yo, we gotta get it done. So let's get to it, man. I'm gonna take this hood off of there, throw it on this stand, and we'll go ahead and start working on it. No, it's way too cold. All right, y'all. Uh, um, so there's the hood. Uh, now, uh, I said this before, or I don't know when this video is gonna come out, but um, I was talking about it in my Fender video for um, the uh, Camaro. Um, so I received my, my Fender for the Camaro um, this week or whatever. And I was talking about the damage that happens to these parts when they're in transit or whatever happens. Um, and I can kind of see some like bubbling up right here. So we're definitely going to have to scuff this up and address some of these issues because they're not a hundred percent perfect. I can also see a little dent right here. Um, but right here, there's an issue. So we're gonna have to knock that down with the body hammer so that it's nice and flush and straight. Um, it's kind of hard ordering um, parts for these cars because they always, always, always come messed up. When I ordered those fenders, um, they were messed up. There were dents on them already. There's dents on this already. Um, the fender that I had ordered uh, for the Camaro, I had initially thought it was good, but the corner piece is super duper bent up. It kind of sucks, man, because if you don't have skills to like, you know what I'm saying, like fix this type of stuff, you're just kind of like in a position where you just get a brand new hood. You thought it was brand new. I mean, it is brand new. Don't get me wrong. It is brand new, but it's coming damaged already. Now, granted, you know, you can't uh, prevent everything from happening and shipping, but I mean, something like this, you should kind of ship really really well i mean that thin layer of bubble wrap 
I don't feel like it's, it's good enough to do the job. You got your corner protectors and stuff like that. I haven't pulled those off to see what the corners look like yet. There's a corner protector on the fender of the Camaro and it still was super bent up. So, I mean, that doesn't even really matter, man. These things should be in styrofoam cases, just like as if you would ship uh, a TV or something like that. You know what I mean? You put it in styrofoam, you make sure it's protected. You should probably do the same things um, with these body parts now i'm not tripping too hard on it because this hood is going to get cut up it's going to get body worked all that kind of good stuff is going to get done to it but i'm just speaking on behalf of the people that necessarily don't know how to do it i guess you would take it to your painter and they would do it and you know what i'm saying do the body work and make sure it's all nice and straight or whatever or you would think but you know it is what it is uh i'm more concerned about this right here like i said i'll probably just have to body hammer that down that high spot down and knock it out and we'll be good to go but you know it is what it is anyways we are going to go ahead and grab this uh hood scoop and we're going to go ahead and slap it on here and we're going to measure it tape it up measure it make sure the outline is good and then after we do all of that um i'm trying to think here i might start cutting a hole in the hood so I think I'm gonna probably start doing that, start cutting a hole in the hood, and then we're gonna have to sand it down to bare metal on the sides here, probably out to this body line. Um, see how far it goes out, but we'll probably have to sand it down to bare metal out to this body line, just so that we can get the body filler and the um, the fiberglass filler 100% contact on the metal. So um, let me go ahead and set that on here, measure it. I'm gonna tape around, tape an outline around it, um because we're gonna have to cut like i said we're gonna have to cut so pretty much i'll show you what i'm gonna do and then we're gonna have to cut a hole in the hood for uh the hood scoop so a lot to do here i hope y'all enjoy this video man i don't know what i'm doing i'm not even gonna lie to you but we about to make it work we gonna make it do what it do it can't be no worse than somebody else jacking my shit up so let's go ahead and jump to it all right, y'all, so there it is on top of there. Man, it's super dirty and dusty, but it's okay. Um, I think what I might do is, dang, I got to kind of figure it out. Um, So a lot of this is going to get cut off. So I'm going to cut this edge off of here. And, you know, because we don't need all of this excess right here. We're going to cut this edge off of here. Um, We'll probably make it a little bit thinner because I kind of want to, I want it to swoop into the hood, swoop into the hood. And like, if it, if it, say for instance, hopefully I explain this right. If there's a swoop here and it has like a super duper flat spot right here, and then there's a lip in the edge, the buildup line will be like right here. There'll be a buildup line right here and then you'll get to the swoop here. So I don't want that to happen because that would look super duper goofy. Um, I guess you can make it like another style line like this, which, you know, wouldn't be necessarily a bad idea. Um, but I don't know how that would look. And that's going to take a lot more, I feel like, measuring because this side here is thicker than this side, I believe. At least it looks like it from my eyes. Um, so we're going to do some measuring and we're going to cut probably, I'll say about a about an inch maybe about an inch um, or inch and a half, two inches, maybe from this part, we'll cut, I'll mark it with a marker and we'll cut up and around. So like it'll come up and around. Uh, obviously this part is thinner, so we'll have to like basically cut all of this stuff off, boom, and then we'll cut a little bit of excess off back there. And pretty much like I said, I'm, I'm going for just having like a smooth transition so like the build up comes and it builds up and comes straight down out to there so that's what i'm attempting to do um and yeah so uh and there has to be enough room enough space for me to work with and for me to put the uh self-tapping screws in um and then right here we're gonna have to figure out too we'll probably you know, trim a little bit off of here in the front, just a little bit, uh, just so that it can come in like a uniform fashion and it doesn't look all goofy. So 
Um, that's what we're gonna be doing. Uh, I'll probably start marking it first, and then after I mark it, I'll uh, get my Dremel tool out. I'll probably take the hood actually off of uh, off of the stand for now, and just lean it up against the car so that I can have some space to work with and be able to, being able to cut this. So let me go ahead and mark it up, and yeah, we'll get to cutting. And then after that, obviously, we'll mark from this line to this on both sides. Make sure the uh, the top, the middle, and the front are all 100% the same length or width or whatever from this style line and that style line. And then after that, we'll make sure it's 100% straight with this style line here. And um, after that's all done, after we're through with that, making sure it's 100% dead straight, um, we'll go ahead and outline it with the tape so that, you know, I have good coverage with the tape. And then after I outline it with the tape, uh, so that I know exactly where this thing is coming back to, um, we'll take this off and then we're going to measure underneath here for the cut. So wherever we're going to cut underneath here is, it's going to be, you know, like right here somewhere, obviously. And then I guess we'll have to probably um, figure out. Yeah, we'll think about it. We'll think about it. But anyways, we still have. We're gonna have to cut right up in here somewhere. It's gonna cut all like a hole all the way around. And then we're gonna set this on there with the fiberglass filler. We'll drill it down um, so that it sets. And then after that, you know, we'll start working the body out. So I know that was a lot, man. Um, bear with me. Like I said, this is la this is the only time, well, my first time doing something like this. So um, we got to figure it out. And this piece here, um, I kind of think I want to cut this so that it, it matches this. So instead of it looking like, okay, there's this lip right here, I think what I want to do is make it flush like that. So it's flush up against that. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and cut this piece off here and make all of that nice and flush so that, you know, it looks really, really good. Um, nice up against the um, the corner right here. I don't want it to be like, look like, you know, it didn't come on the car. I want it to look like it came on the car. Like I said, I'm not concerned about cutting this hood up. I don't care. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? I want my car to look good and yo, it gotta get ugly before it get pretty. Like I said, it was a lot. So let me go ahead and start getting to work. All right, y'all. So I got everything pretty much um, measured out and stuff like that. I'm definitely going to measure uh, measure twice, cut once. Um, I ran out of tape. I have some tape somewhere. I just don't know where uh, it is. I continually lose tape. I don't know. I buy some tape and I lose it like immediately. It's kind of crazy. But anyways, I got to get another piece of tape to just like line it because I don't really want to line this or too much of this with um, the marker just because um, I don't know I just rather tape it um, so it's not extra work trying to sand it and doing all the other extra stuff sending the marker out but anyways um, I measured the back of this from here to that corner is about 32 and three quarters and from here to that corner is another 32 and three quarters so the back of this is dead center um, and I measured the front of it on the, there's like a little tiny uh, hump in the middle of the hood um, that you can very, very faintly see. But I lined it up with everything there. So this should be uh, good to go, squared away. Um, I think it's like 
from this this part here to the middle like this body line it's like 18 and a half inches from here to this body line or this style line it's 18 and a half inches so i measure my back my middle and my front i'm gonna go ahead and find my tape so i can connect everything um and just make sure it's dead straight and then i have my my tape back here my tape up front when i take the hood scoop off i'll probably line those two lines up just to kind of you know what i'm saying make sure that i'm on point as far as um like being in dead straight so i'll take a piece of tape and i'll line it and i'll make a straight edge and line it back and then i'll measure from end to end from the middle to the middle and everything like that just to make sure that i have good accurate measurements from here to the front so then when i put the hood scoop thing back on i know that this piece of tape and that piece of tape on the other side are exactly where they need to be um and i'm not just going based off of the line that i drew from there on top of the hood or on top of the hood scoop so um it's going to take a little bit of measuring not too difficult you know what i'm saying like if you know how to measure um but it is what it is we are continuing to move forward on this thing i know i started another project in the middle of doing a project but man it is freezing out here and i definitely don't feel like sanding on no car so um I am going to go ahead. I went to Home Depot. I got a Dremel bit to cut this out, but I don't have the adapter piece. I thought I had an adapter piece in this Dremel kit, but I guess the um, disc that I got takes a different adapter piece. So I'm gonna have to go back and get the right adapter piece so that I can cut this out. I have a cutoff wheel, which is what I'm gonna be using to cut the hole in the actual metal hood. But I mean, right now, I really don't feel like hooking up the compressor, waiting for it to fill up with air and doing all of that. You know what I'm saying? Because like I said, it's super duper cold out here. Um, I just wanted to plug in the Dremel and start Dremeling. Um, I mean, I'm going to have to cut open the hood anyway, but I'll show you guys what I did. I didn't line up the front yet, but um, oh, come on. Uh, hold on. All right. I didn't line up the front yet, but... You guys can kind of see I kind of made like a little hole or an outline for where I'm going to cut. I still got to line up for the front, but for the most part right now, we just have it um, on the sides and in the back um, just for now. And then once I take the hood off, I'll put another hole. I mean, uh, another piece of tape like kind of behind this line right here, a little bit behind the um, the opening here, like just probably like a quarter inch behind the opening here um and then i might try to make this part here like flush in there so um this uh here i'll go to the other side so i might make it so that it's you know like put some fiberglass filler down i'll cut open like probably about a quarter inch put some fiberglass filler down um to make it smooth and round it off into there um, because when I cut it open, I'm going to definitely do body work in there so that it's not just like a jagged edge. You know what I'm saying? I wanted to make, make it look like it always came like that. So when you look up under there, you just see the hood and you see it looking real nice and flush and real nice and smooth. Like it always came like that. You know what I mean? We're not cutting no corners. We're not doing this like half ass or nothing like that. We're doing it, you know, the right way, or at least how I envision it being the right way or done. So anyways, man, we got to get that Dremel bit so that we can cut these side pieces off. And then after we do that, um, we'll go ahead and take the hood off since it's already measured and everything is already good. We'll go ahead and cut the hole on the inside and then um, we'll shave that down and make it nice and smooth. And then before we... Um, before we go ahead and start um, putting this on there, we'll probably work uh, body work the uh, jagged edges so that they're nice and smooth. Um, and then after that, we'll go ahead and lay this on top or do the or sand it down to bare metal where it needs to be sanded down to bare metal. We'll go ahead and lay this thing on top um, of some fiberglass filler and then we'll drill it down on top of the fiberglass filler let it set and you know let it set there until it dries and then after it dries um we'll take the the uh the screws out and then we'll work the 
fiberglass filler on the edges and then we'll body work it. So there's a few steps that still need to happen, but you know, we're working it and we're making it, we're making it do what it do. You know what I'm saying? I know, like I said, somebody asked, said they wanted to see this hood. So, you know, here we go, man. We're making it, we're making it work here. So let's get to it. All right, y'all, so I got what I need. So now we are going to proceed to cut this thing out. Um, and yeah, I mean, we should be good to go. I'm gonna start working the front, cut it out, and then um, we'll see where we end up at after that's all said and done. All right, y'all, we got some of the stuff on the floor, the trim pieces on the floor, got it all cut out. Uh, so now what we gotta do is we have to go ahead and cut the hood, um, the hole for the hood. After we cut the hole on the hood over there, we're gonna go ahead and lay down the fiberglass filler um, all the way up underneath this whole thing. Um, I think I'm gonna do it underneath here as well because this is gonna adhere to the hood as well. So uh, I'm gonna lay the fiberglass filler on this whole entire piece up until the opening and then on the sides. And then that uh, hole, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut that hole so that it matches the inlet right here. And then I will uh, work on doing um, some body filler on the rough edges and we'll probably body fill this into the hood on this side so that you don't see like a little ridge and then a cut into the hood. It looks like one uh, uniform piece. So uh, still got a little little ways to go, but um, I'm happy I had to turn out, um, cut the Dremel or use the Dremel to cut the hood right up um, or this little uh, fiberglass insert piece right up. So we sh we're about to probably hook up the compressor, get to cutting the hood. And then once we cut the hood, um, we'll go ahead and lay the body filler around the edges. We'll smooth it out, make it all nice and pretty. And then after that, um, after it's nice and pretty on the inside and it dries, we're gonna go ahead and lay the fiberglass on top and set this down into the thing. Um, and then after that, we're gonna probably just let that dry, let it cure overnight. Um, and then, yeah, the hood should be done. And then obviously all we, all we gotta do is do the body filling or whatever. So I might conclude the body or conclude the video at the point of us just setting this down on the hood um, and actually getting it adhered to the hood and bolt it down until it dries because um, it's gonna take a lot more work to get all the way done to completion because after, you know, this is adhered to the hood, um, we're gonna have to take the bolts out of it and we're gonna have to body work the rest of it in. Um, and I might bevel these edges a little bit so that it's not like this like straight edge, it's kind of like slanted so that when I do the body filler and stuff like that, we have some type of um, edge to kind of go up, kind of like a ramp, you know what I'm saying? like kind of like a ramp instead of a curb, you know what I mean? So uh, it just goes right up into there and it looks nice and smooth and we all good. So um, that's pretty much how it's gonna go. And um, if I have to cut more material off, I'll cut more material off. But for the most part, we're gonna just build it up and make it look real nice and pretty. And uh, yeah, man. Um, so let's go ahead and get to it. We'll go ahead and start cutting on the hood. We'll make sure everything is nice. We're gonna measure, like I said, measure twice, cut once, make sure everything is nice and good, how I want it. And then after I have it how I want it, um, we're gonna go ahead and start finishing everything else up. So uh, next part, cutting the hood, cutting the hood out, and then um, 
doing a body filler on the edges to make them like round it off so that they're not like sharp and jagged. And then when you look up under there, you can see, cause I mean, when I take the car to car shows or when it's parked, you're gonna be able to see through the hood. And when you look up under there, I don't want people to be able to see like jagged edges, like, oh man, he just, you know what I'm saying? Just cut up the hood and threw this on there. Nah, I want it to be as if it's like factory. So, um, oh yeah, also we have to send the edges on the outside where the hood is gonna like make or the fiberglass part is gonna make on the hood, we have to sand that down to bare metal. So um, I'm gonna sand that down to bare metal on the outside. We're gonna cut the inside, and then I'm gonna, uh, that whole middle section we're gonna take, and we're gonna um, go ahead and um, take it all the way down to bare metal. So uh, we should be good to go. And now that I think about it, okay, I was about to say, I don't think this hood has a, a crease in the middle of it but it looks like it does i wasn't really too sure so this is probably a caprice hood but you know you're not going to be able to tell the difference once i'm all said and done so i'm actually um okay with cutting it up i'm not tripping on it and then once this is done i'll be happy because um i can put that on the car and i could take this one and throw it in the trash um, I was thinking about selling it to somebody or just giving it away or something like that, but uh, there's there's too much damage to where this doesn't line up. This hood will probably never line up on a car. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna just trash it, get rid of it, and then um, I'll keep that. And I might give this away, um, this, uh, this front one, uh, or front one, the grill away, or sell it or whatever because it is broke, like the little mesh pieces behind it are broke. Um, so you can like redo it or just cut them out and put the uh, billet inserts in it, um, which is also another idea that I guess I could do myself, but um, the hood itself is okay. You know what I'm saying? It will take some finesse and some work to make it work and make it fit. I already have a new grill, so I'm gonna go with that direction. And I have a surprise for the front of the grill. So, um, it should be super duper dope, super solid. So I might sell the grill. Um, it is broke, but let me know if you might be interested in the grill. I'll sell that. I'm trashing the hood, so that doesn't even matter. Um, and my goal is um, when I epoxy the El Camino, I wanna try to epoxy these doors at the same time. So, you know what I'm saying? Boom, hit the metal spots, let the metal spots dry on the El Camino, and then turn around and shoot the doors on this side of the car. So we gotta send all this down to bare metal. And, um, you know, it shouldn't be too difficult because uh, the this primer on here is trash. It was self edge primer, I shouldn't have did that. But, you know, it is what it is. We'll send it down to bare metal. We'll shoot the doors the same time I shoot epoxy on the El Camino so that we can, boom, knock two birds out with one stone. I don't have to reset up, reclean the gun, do everything that I got to do. We'll just boom, 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 hit it off, hit the El Camino off, and then we can keep moving forward. So, yeah, man, like I said, we grinding. We grinding in here. So, let's get to it. Let's finish up this hood. The hood should be done today besides the body work part. Um, and then after that, man... Uh, We'll just keep moving forward. I, like I said, I ordered up some parts already for the car. Um, so they should be here this week. Um, and then once they get here, we'll just throw them on, slap them on, do whatever we got to do up under here and keep it moving forward. Um, and then, yeah. But like I said, I'll talk to y'all about, I'll have a plans video or an update video on the Impala once I'm done. Um, or probably like next week um or in two weeks or whatever you know what i'm saying i got so much more videos content that i got to bring out with the car before i slap y'all with an update but i think i'm gonna just slap y'all with an update on the impala um so i can tell y'all what the plans are now so let's go ahead and keep working man i'm gonna stop talking go ahead and start cutting up this hood and then we'll start laying everything down
right, so I started using the cutoff tool, but the cutoff tool wasn't really working for what I was trying to do. So I decided to see if the Dremel would work and the Dremel has been working pretty good. Um, I was able to cut this whole side out um, and then I got that side started a little bit. The cutoff tool was just getting this and it was just not working how I wanted it to work. So um, kind of letting the Dremel cool off because I know it's a big job to try to cut all this out and it's starting to get a little hot. So um, I'm letting it cool off for just a second and then we're just gonna continue to keep cutting until I can cut out the whole thing. Um, so I'll cut y'all back on once I'm done cutting it out. And then uh, I'll take all this tape off. We'll put the scoop on there and see how it goes. Um, but yeah, once it's all cut out, I'll cut y'all back on. Uh, I don't want y'all to have to keep watching me cut because it's nothing too special. But as you can see, the cutoff tool was just getting out. I think it's just because, well, obviously it's because the blade is dull. Um, and I don't really feel like going back to uh, Home Depot to get another blade. So, um, yeah, stay tuned, man. We almost done cutting this thing out. Um, we just got to get, obviously, the rest of this side. Boom, this back piece, and then out up there, and then we're good. So, um, it's been going pretty smooth with this Dremel tool. So, I'm hoping it, it's consistent and stays the same. If it gets dull, the blade gets dull, then we'll just swap it out because I have plenty of them. So um, let's continue cutting this hood. And then after we're done cutting it, we'll go ahead and throw the hood scoop on there and go from there. All right, so we got the hood cut out. Safe to say, no more warranty on this thing. Um, but it's all good. Uh, we just got to cut this frame support thing out of there and we'll be good to go. Um, but let me go ahead and set this on top of there just to kind of give you an idea of what we were looking for. That Dremel kept getting pretty hot. So, so yeah, you can see, um, line it up here. There we go. So that's pretty much what I was looking for. Got me a little ridge right there so I can go ahead and mold this into that this little, um, this cross pattern thing right here for the under structure of the hood. We're gonna cut that out. Um, and then you can see it's plenty wide, plenty good enough. It's kind of hard to see like all the way up in there like that, but you get the idea, you get the picture, man. Um, there's gonna be nice airflow to the hood. I mean, into the engine bay. So um, yeah, it's gonna be a functional, um hood scoop so instead of just you know sitting this on top and not cutting the hood out and stuff like that and not having the, the entrance like that this will be a functional hood scoop and hopefully um if you've been following the channel for a while for a while you've been following this car for a while you know that i did like a custom uh front splitter um i didn't get a chance to finish it because obviously the car had gone to the paint shop but uh a lot of questions uh, came up about whether I was going to have um, enough airflow to um, the radiator because of the the air dams or whatever you want to call them. Um, and I don't know just yet, but I'm assuming this is going to help tremendously um, with airflow. So we'll see. Um, obviously, once everything's together, but we're going to go ahead and... Um, bevel these edges and then we're going to cut the inner structure out we'll wait until the dremel um uh has a chance to uh cool down we're going to cut the inner structure out we're going to bevel the edges here and then we'll start um laying down the oh i forgot we got to sand down the middle portion so this whole entire portion has to get sanded down to bare metal so We'll go ahead and work on that. And then after that, we'll put the fiberglass filler down and then we'll have this set on top of the hood. So still a lot of work to do, but we're making it happen and we're making it work. So um, like I said, the last part that you pro guys will probably see is me just putting the fiberglass filler on there and then uh, we'll be done with it because it still has to dry and do all that other stuff and adhere to the hood and all that kind of good stuff. So, um, but anyways, there we're at, we're there, there we are. You know, we'll go ahead and bevel these edges and then um, keep moving forward. All right, uh, so I got the outline pretty much um, 
like sand it down on the hood. The reason for that is for the mating surface for the um for the uh body filler or um yeah plastic filler or whatever. Uh so we just gotta clean the hood off. Um I ran out of uh Dremel bits to uh cut out the, the back piece or the underside, the little exoskeleton or whatever you want to call it. Um the support piece underneath the hood. And so once I get some more uh, Dremel pieces to cut that out, we'll go ahead and uh, bevel these edges and then I can cut that piece out. The reason why I don't want to go ahead and uh, set this now, I'll wait until I get the Dremel pieces, is because I don't want to have to flip this over um, and then cut it out on the back side and have those sparks flying because this is fiberglass. Um, I'm not trying to catch nothing on fire, you know what I mean? And then ruin everything anyway. So. Uh, so the last two things we got to do is basically just cut that piece out and bevel these edges and then after that we should be good to go um, and then clean all this black stuff off the hood all this paint off of the hood um, and then yeah we'll go ahead and start laying down the plastic filler set this on top drill the uh, holes inside of it um, and then we'll just let that set we'll probably let it set overnight and then um, come back out here and start doing the uh, rest of the body work on it to make it molded in. But man, that looks pretty dope. Um, and as soon as we're done, as soon as we're done um, setting this down and doing the body work, we're throwing it on the car. Like I'm not waiting and having it sit around or nothing like that. And I'm tired of pulling it off of the roof and putting it back on the roof. Um, and actually I might just um, lean it up against the car or against the wall or something like that. Put these, um, rubber pieces on it and just lean it up against the wall instead of throwing it on the car. Cause it's starting to be a challenge trying to pull it off. But anyways, um, yeah, anyway, once I said it, I guess we will conclude the video here. And then the next time you guys see this, um, it will be on the car. So I'm gonna go ahead and run to Home Depot, grab some more Dremel, uh, bits, cut that back piece out, bevel this edge, and then we're gonna go ahead and set this down onto the hood. And then after that, like I said, we'll go ahead and, um, we'll go ahead and start to, uh, you know, doing all the rest of everything. Oh, also one more thing I gotta do is I just want to lay some body filler around the edges just to soften them up. So I'll probably take the 80 grit with the hand sander, sand those rough edges down. And then I'll probably lay some body filler in between there and just sand it down um, and make it nice and pretty so that it's not like all jagged and rough and stuff like that. Even though you're not going to see it, and you'll never know that it's like that, I still want it to be nice and pretty. So when you look up under here, you don't see anything looking all nasty and messed up. It looks like it's one uniform piece. So that's what we're going to do. Um, and then, like I said, we'll conclude this video. We'll be done with this project. And then we'll move on to every other thing that we got to do. So um, let me go ahead and run to Home Depot, grab the stuff that I need, and then we can keep moving. All right, so y'all. So we got all the edges beveled. I got it kind of outlined with some marker just so I know, like, where I'm going, where I need to go with the uh, plastic filler. And so now what we're going to do is we'll lay down the plastic filler, and then we're going to drill the hood scoop down to the um to the um hood so that it stays nice and flat and it doesn't rise up um and it sticks down in there real good and then after we're done with that this thing will be on here and it'll be good and then we'll just have to body work it and make sure it's all good but the reason why i beveled it is so that i have a nice like i said a nice ramp not a curb so we're gonna go ahead and lay this down it will be complete with this project. Then we'll go ahead and throw it on the car. All right, y'all. So there it is. Um, I'm not going to lie, man. This was super nerve wracking because um, I started to apply it. And there's a large area to try to apply with, you know, this whole pretty much the, from the front to the back of the hood. You got to apply with fiberglass filler. And... Um, it was a lot to spread, so I had to remix um, another batch up. I almost ran out 
Um, I use basically a whole entire can and about a quarter of a can um, just to do this area here. And um, I applied it as, as best I could. And then, you know, like right here, um, I applied it really thick because this thing um, is obviously setting down right here in the middle. Um, I wanted to apply it there and apply it on the sides and stuff like that. And so when I applied it, you know, like I said, I was running out. And on top of that, this I started in this area here and it started to dry a little bit. So it wasn't easy or easy to spread or move or nothing like that. So I had to hurry up and go. Um, and then, you know, trying to set up the camera and stuff was kind of difficult. Um, so I didn't have enough time to really show you how the process. But I also drilled the holes so I can drill it down and then we'll take those out and then cover it up uh, with more fiberglass filler once this sets and dries. And I go ahead and sand the edges down the stuff that oozed out. And that's what you wanna see. You wanna see it ooze out so that you know this is setting down smooth. And I tried to look to make sure I had no gaps anywhere. Um, I might go ahead and put some right, a uh, uh, screw right there and right there, but I didn't wanna have no gaps anywhere. I wanted it to ooze out. That's what I was looking for. Um, so we're gonna let this dry. And then once it dries and we can sand it down and stuff like that, we'll go ahead and get, go to the auto parts store, get some more fiberglass filler and smooth it out. Uh, pretty much, like I said, smooth my edges out and stuff. Um, we'll go ahead and do that. And then once once I smooth my edges out, um, we'll body work it. And this project is done and complete. And I don't know if I'm body work it off of the car or on the car, um, because I really wanna get this hood in the trash this weekend. So um, we'll see what happens, but there it is, man. There's the hood scoop, it's finally officially on there. Um, and then I might, throw some fiberglass filler down in through here and kind of shape it so that this piece is not like a ridge. It just goes straight down into the into the hole there. Um, we'll see, we'll see how I feel. Um, I also had to try to measure at the same time. So you can imagine that was a lot trying to mix up the fiberglass filler. You know what I'm saying? I did it the first time, I used a lot and that whole can pretty much took up everything. I was trying to spread it and then I had to measure the hood to make sure that this line is exactly in the middle. Um, and I think I did a pretty solid job. Uh, so we'll see once um, I guess the uh, <laughs> everything is laid down, but I think I did a pretty solid job. I pretty much got it all you know, lined up. This tape is a little bit messed up. I pretty much took the tape measure and lined it up from that side to this side and um, that's how I got my line. So it's like 30 inches is the exact midpoint in the front and 32 inches is the exact midpoint in the back because it kind of goes like that outwards or whatever. So I lined it up as perfect as I could get it.